Hi friends, today I'm, I'm here to explain on the central dogma of life, or as you call as we usually call it as central dogma of molecular biology. Oh, that may be central dogma of life. But one and same. In this, uh, I'm going to explain the uh, central dogma of life represented in the form of conventional and current concepts. Coming to uh, conventional concept, as we already know, uh, pre-bioinformatics era, and uh, DNA, which is going to produce itself another copy, we call it as replication, and after that, DNA, after DNA, which is going to form RNA, which we call as transcription, and that RNA is uh, converted to uh, is being converted to protein, which is called as translation. This this thing we call it as uh, conventional concept of uh, central dogma of molecular biology. As I said, as I said. Uh, uh, replication DNA is converted into DNA only replication and uh, DNA is converted into RNA it is called a transcription and the RNA is converted into uh, protein which is called a translation coming to the current science or con current concept of uh, uh, central dogma of life molecular biology first uh, genome which is copied many times we call it as replication genome is converted into replication and as uh, uh, is, as we control that the what's what's the genome the total dna contained in an organism or a cell is regarded as a genome that is total dna in sense the genetic information we call it as total dna And we, as we studied over what the definition of a genome, then we come to know, we we have to study what is genomics. The study of structure and function of genome is called as genomics. As I said, the structure and function of that genome we call it as uh, genomics. And this we can in genomics we can study uh, different um, uh, difference like. Uh, that, that uh, what do you call that structural genomic and comparative genomics and the structural genomics refers to the structural motifs and complete protein structure and comparative genomics involves the study of comparative gene function and phylogeny phylogeny and coming to that genome is uh, converts to the transcriptome the process called uh, by the process called as transcription and uh, RNA the RNA copies of uh, active protein is coding genes present in transcriptome this transcriptome is the initial product of gene expression uh, which directs the synthesis of proteins and it's a middle uh, it's a main part which is responsible for the um, what do you call it, transcription uh, which is middle part to uh, synthesis of the protein structure it's an important process and and which directs the synthesis of the proteins and we coming to transcriptome as we know as we got to know what's the transcriptome then we need to study what is transcriptomics and the study of transcript Tome that involves all RNA molecules made by cell, tissue, or organisms is called as transcriptomics. Transcriptomics and the genomics. Genomics and this transcriptome is converted into protein by the process called as I said the translation and proteomic. Proteome the cell. Uh, um, Reptoid or repository or storehouse of proteins with their nature and biological function is called is regarded as a proteome. As I said again, I will clarify this one again. Proteome means the cell repository or storehouse of proteins with their nature and biological function is regarded as proteome. 
as I said, the proteins, these the proteins are which are stored in their nature and biological function, and the, this protein represents entire range of proteins and their biological function in a cell. Entire range of proteins, whatever the proteins present, the entire range of proteins and their biological functions in a cell. And coming to the, what do you mean by proteomics? Proteomics. The study of proteome is called as proteomics, and these are this is the uh, current science, current concept of uh, central dogma of molecular biology. And we studied the genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, and uh, the another one which is uh, major in present science. So uh, again, it's one of the thing, and we call it metabolome capability of a cell tissue or an organism to synthesize the small molecules is known as metabolomics as i said metabolomics meta metabolomics metabolomics the use of genome sequences what are the genome which is sequenced a t g c like sequenced uh, Sequence analysis for determining capacity of cell or tissue of organism to synthesize small molecules. Using the genomic sequence, analyze for determining the capacity capability of a cell, the capacity of cell or tissue or organism to synthesize small molecules. That is called metabolites. Is called as metabolomics. Uh, as I said, uh, you simply know that. Uh, Central dogma of molecular biology in a simple sense is that DNA converted into RNA, RNA converted into protein through transcription and translation. Thank you. Please subscribe our channel. Stay tuned for further videos. Thank you.